First of all, we'd like to thank all of you for checking out the dip and rip pattern video. It's been one of our most viewed and most successful videos on the YouTube channel. I tell you, it's a great pattern to focus on to catch these big, big movers. So if you haven't watched that video, check it out. And then today, I'm gonna tell you how to spot that dip and rip with a great built-in screener in Stocks to Trade. Hey everyone, Lee Trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and also ring that bell. We put out a ton of new videos going live almost every day, including on the weekends. You know, I love bringing you guys as much actionable information and timely information. That's what's great about the live stuff. We're talking about geopolitical events, the news, you know, how we're gonna approach the next day. You know, these videos are awesome to learn the chart patterns, but the live stuff is great to be able to know, hey, what am I gonna be looking at for tomorrow? What's tomorrow's potential dip and rip? So that being said, ring the bell, share with your friends, and also check out the Steady Trade team. I'm live every single morning in the Steady Trade team, building these screeners, running these screeners, walking you right through it. Okay, let's get to work. That being said, the dip and rip pattern is the number one pattern for 2020 when it comes to these low float morning big movers. I'll just quickly recap it because again, that video we've done, a bunch of you left a comment that you loved it. But what we're looking at is a low float stock with news in a hot sector that's up huge in pre-market. So that's our indicator. And I'm gonna show you how to screen for that. That's what we're gonna do. But now, when that stock opens weak, that's the dip that sucks in the short sellers that love to short these big runners, then the beauty of the dip and rip is it gives you a defined entry and exit. When it breaks that high in the day, that's your entry, you're risking the low of the day, and when these float rotating stocks churning through the float, they have a high propensity to spike big time. Lots of times, they're just getting started at three to one risk to reward. I mean, some of these stocks, you can see five to one, seven to one, 10 to one, risk to reward because they move so fast to the upside. All right, that being said, let's build a screener. So as always, I like to say, keep it simple, okay? Many of you know the KISS acronym. We're not looking at a million different criteria here. We wanna just look at simple factors. And what I'm gonna start out with is we're gonna start out with the price, okay? I think the best uh, dip and rip patterns are for stocks that are between one and ten dollars so that's it's a low price stock but it's not a true penny stock we've seen a lot in 2020 the true penny stocks just don't move like they used to now the i always say the market's kind of like fashion you know bell bottoms go out of style bell bottoms come out you know mullets oddly enough my son has a mullet you know and the, everyone used to make fun of them mullets are back in style in 2020 maybe the weirdest year ever. But that being said, true penny stocks, less than $1 stocks just haven't been moving. So I'm gonna build a screener with the last price that is greater than one and less than 10. So that's gonna give me stocks that are within my price range that I wanna focus on. Next thing I'm gonna look at is percent change. It's again, joking about 2020, but I don't even look at a potential morning dip and rip unless it's up more than 50% waste of time. We see so many stocks that are up 20, 30, 40%. If you're screening for less than 50%, you're going to have who knows how many stocks. We want to find the best. So now that I've got my price range as well as my percent gain, now I can move on to liquidity. So what I'm going to be looking at is the daily volume. And again, it's a wild market out there. I don't want you looking at any potential dip and rips that haven't traded a minimum of 3 million shares by 9 a.m. Um, this is still gonna net you plenty of stocks. And if it doesn't net you any, that's fine. You know, Remember, if you're under the PDT, you can't trade every day anyway. That's what we're trying to do with these screeners is find only the best setups. Maybe you're a part-time trader. Trader. Maybe you got a business, maybe you got a family, maybe you got a job, maybe you're going to school, maybe you're doing all of the above. The whole idea of these screeners is finding the best setups. The, the, the last thing you want as someone under the PDT or someone that's part-time is to run a screener that gives you 100 stocks. 
It's, it's no good to you. You don't have time to even analyze all 100, much less trade them. So minimum of 3 million shares by 9 a.m. Last thing I want to put in is the stock float. And in low float stock land, we're looking for less than 10 million shares. So now there you've got a scan. You've got what you're looking for, your price range. You've, got, you've now got a stock that you know is in your price range. You know it's moving. It's already up big. You know it's liquid. It's got volume. And it's also a low float stock. Now, if you're wondering the significance of float, definitely check out our other videos. We talk about float a lot. We talk about float rotation a lot. That's a key point with these dipping reps. We're really looking for that stock that can then break that 9.45 high day or even to the 2 p.m. window because of float rotation. So now I run the scan and you can see I've got uh, two, four, six, seven stocks. When I sort them, I sort them by the highest volume. You can see XTNT, Tops, MOXC, GNUS, Works, Drip. Many of you might be familiar with these tickers. It's what I love about this screener is it finds me stocks that have been past runners as well. So XTNT would have been probably the best one from this morning. So now you can see, once I jump over to that stock, I'm gonna focus on the midday or the morning into the afternoon. And you can see this stock spikes up, pulls back, consolidates, consolidates, and then rips to the high of the day post 945, which is the window we look at, that 1030 window, you can see this thing broke out. Okay, so this scan, I find the stock in the morning, I know it's got news, I know it's got volume, I know it's liquid, and then I simply wait for that dip to draw on the short sellers and then the rip, and you can see potential upside. You're never gonna pick the top or the pick the bottom, but you can see if you bought that high a day into the 1030 window, which is our post 945, there's almost, if you know, you're never gonna sell perfectly at the top, but there's a dollar a share of upside on a $1 stock. That's a heck of a move for a low priced stock. And this stock is continuing to hold up through the day. You can see it's still up over 52% right now. This is a possible dip and rip tomorrow. So those are all the criteria I really want you to dial in on. Keep it simple. Price, volume, float rotation, the, the daily range, okay? We're scanning for those 50% gainers because stocks that have ran, stocks that run in the pre-market, stocks that have ran in the past tend to run it again. You know, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. And that's why I want you tracking your data too. Because the more you focus on these tickers, the more you built that mental database or that database in a spreadsheet or Evernote and you recognize that, hey, this guy's been on my low float scan before, it's got news, it's in a hot sector. If this thing pulls at the open, sucks in the short sellers at any time of the day, if it breaks the high of the day, it's a potential trade. Now, what's great about that also, you can set alerts in stocks to trade. So if you set an alert, you can be pinged when the stock breaks the high of the day, just like it did there at 1030. You could risk off a of VWAP, you'd be risking 20 cents a share to potentially make 60, 80, or even a dollar a share if you were lucky enough to sell the top. That's killer risk to reward. That's a consistently repeatable pattern that we look for every single day in the steady trade team. So that being said, definitely click the link below. Check out the Steady Trade team. Would love to see you in there. It's a small group. I work with them every day. I'm in chat 6 a.m. Eastern every single day. We're talking trade ideas. And man, especially lately, in this post shutdown order in 2020, some days we're talking about two, three, four potential dip and rips, and we walk right through it in chat. We walk right through it in, in the webinars. It's the best way to become a self-sufficient trader. Thanks a lot, everyone. Check out those other videos on the dip and rip, float rotation, all these concepts. I want you to learn as much about this as possible and truly hope you success in your future trading.